Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's misconception in astronomy, we are going to look at the asteroid belt and decide if it is a dangerous place to be, especially in reference toward traveling through it with a spacecraft. So let's go ahead and get started here. And is the asteroid belt a dangerous place to travel through? Well, really, it is not. Like the rest of our solar system, the asteroid belt is almost completely empty space. So why do we have this tendency to think that it might be crowded? And that is a common misconception I see among my students. Well, we look at images like this, which are not incorrect, which show all the different asteroids. Now, the main belt asteroids there in the white are the ones located between the planets Mars and Jupiter. So that's where most of the asteroids are located. And things like this make you look like that's very crowded. If you're trying to get through that, it's going to be hard, right? You're not going to be able to travel through without running into an asteroid. You're going to need to navigate very carefully. Well, we know of hundreds of thousands of asteroids. But based on the large distance around those, there are actually would actually be generally hundreds of thousands of miles between asteroids. So we're talking distances like between the Earth and the moon, between the average distance between asteroids. So you can travel great distances within the asteroid belt and never even see an asteroid. So what do why again, why do we think this? Well, we often get images like this from science fiction, where you look like you're traveling through something and there's all these particles. And of course, that makes it a little more exciting movie, right? If you're watching a movie, you're traveling through the asteroid belt. Well, you're going to see all of these objects. And it looks like it's going to be very dangerous that you have to zigzag around them. But in reality, it looks more like this. And there's one asteroid there and nothing else. So it's not really very hard to travel through the asteroid belt. So if you had space travel through the asteroid belt, pretty much any random path is going to be unlikely to hit an asteroid. Of course, you do want to navigate. You want to know where the major asteroids are. Maybe you want to plan to fly by one so that you can actually observe it, which of course has been done many times in the past. So. Again, we look at this and we see that often we think that the um, asteroid belt looks one way like this, but in reality, it actually looks very empty and there is a lot of space between those asteroids. So future missions to the outer solar system really don't have to worry much about traveling through the asteroid belt within our solar system. So let's go ahead and finish up with a summary here. And what we looked at is, first of all, that the asteroid belt is mostly empty space. So a spacecraft can easily travel through the asteroid belt. We looked at the average distance between asteroids as being hundreds of thousands of miles and how the difference that science fiction gives the asteroid belt as a much more crowded place than it truly is. So that concludes this misconception in astronomy about the asteroid belt being a dangerous place. We'll be back again next week for another misconception in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.